there you go. Hey guys, Auntie Cookie here. Oh, I can't believe this. I miss you guys so much. I just wanna squeeze you. Oh, but don't worry, we'll be together again soon, I promise. Anyways, guys, I hope everybody had a great Easter. Can you believe it, the miracle that Jesus died and then he rose again from the dead three days later? Could you do that? Because I know I couldn't, man. That's something, ain't it? Well, I'm going to tell you another story today. That's quite the miracle that God does. Can we just talk about how good God is? Isn't he just awesome? I mean, he gave us our mommies and our daddies. And he gave us a house to live under when it snows or rains. Could you imagine living outside? Oh, no. Oh, God is so good to us, isn't he? Well, today we're going to be reading the story out of 2 Kings chapter 4, verses 1 through 7. But, Auntie made, oh, sorry. Auntie Cookie made you a little book. Are you ready for it? <gasps> I knew you were. Okay, it's called The Widow's Oil. You ready, guys? Okay, here it goes. A long, long time ago, there was a woman in Israel. Her husband had died. She was left with her two sons. She had to take care of her boys all by herself. Can you see her? That's her right there. How sad. Can you imagine losing your dad? Okay. A bad mean tax collector came to her house and he said, pay me my monies or I'll take your sons to be my slaves. Oh, how rude. The widow said, Oh no, what will I do? I have no money. And I don't want to lose my sons. Look, look at him. He just looks mean, huh? I think it's the eyebrows. Poor thing. She was really scared. But then she thought, I'll ask the prophet Elijah to help. The prophet said, what do you have in your house? And she replied, only one jar of oil and it's almost gone. Elijah, but he had a good idea. He told the woman to go and collect empty jars from all of her friends and neighbors and bring them back to her home. Hmm, I wonder what that's going to do. You see the prophet Elijah? Hmm, I guess we'll see. They went around the whole neighborhood and collected jars from all of their friends. Lots and lots of jars. When the woman got home, she took out her very small jar of oil, like this one. Look how little that is. Can you imagine, guys, that's all you had left? She poured it into her first empty jar. The little jar kept on pouring until the big jar was full. Wait a second. So you're telling me that this little jar filled up this big jar? That's right. You know why? It was a miracle. And don't you know, we serve a God that works miracles. One by one, she filled all the jars until there was no more empty jars left. Then she sold the oil. There was so much to sell. She had enough money to pay her debt 
and live off of the rest. The end. And there they are. See them with all of their jars of oil. <gasps> Isn't that such a wonderful story? Okay, guys. In this story, we see that God is concerned about our everyday needs that we have. And we see just how generous our God is. In this story, we see how concerned God is about our everyday needs, whether the big or small, and how generous our God is towards us to meet those needs. Well, you know, guys, this widow, she could have lost both of her sons because she loaned a lot of money to those tax collectors. Do you know what a tax collector is? Well, it's a person that collects monies. She also could have lost her two sons to slavery. Can anybody tell me what a slave is? No? Okay, that's all right, I'll tell you. Well, a slave is a person who's owned by another person and they work for them day and night. Sounds pretty crazy, but they used to do it a lot back in those days. Well, in this case, because the mother didn't have enough money to pay the tax collector all of his monies, you know what would have happened to her? She would have had to give up her two sons to work for the tax collector so that all of the debt could be paid off and they would have had to work day and night. The poor widow, she would have been left all alone. Can you imagine? She lost her husband and then she would have lost both sons to slavery. <sighs> that would have been so sad. But you see kids, we serve a God that loves us so much. And he loved this woman so much that he took care of her family, took care of her needs, just like he does ours. And he takes care of our family's needs. He gave her so much oil that it was able to pay off all of her debt. And you know what? She got to live off of the rest of it. How awesome is that? Don't we serve such an awesome God? Well, that was our story lesson today, guys. Just how awesome our God is and just how able he is to take care of our everyday needs. So anytime you feel like you need to ask God to help you, do it. You know why? Because he does miracles all the time, every day. So in closing, let's go ahead and bow our heads and pray together. Dear Jesus, thank you for seeing our needs and blessing us with more than enough. You are such an awesome God. In Jesus' name, amen. And one more thing before we go, guys. Let's try it out. See if it works. Okay. So this probably looks like it's about the same size, but we'll see if it keeps filling the next ones. Okay, that's the first cup of oil. Here comes the second. Wow, how is there still oil coming out of this thing? Whew. Okay guys, I'm gonna be really shocked if a third one gets filled from this little thing. Oh, oh my gosh. Tell me God doesn't work miracles. Can you imagine? Look at this. All these jars just getting full of oil. Well, that was the lesson for today, guys. Until next time.